Okay, hey guys, very informal video today because I don't know how long this video is going to take to film. I just figured it should be more of a relaxy vlog type deal. But today I'm gonna start documenting my like wedding plans and everything. So I have a couple things already like done. So Cortland and I are married. We're already officially married, yay. But he wants to have a ceremony. So I figured I would go ahead and like document the process of planning everything, show you guys along. And then of course there'll be a follow up video after this one when it's all said and done of like what happened probably like pictures and probably videos and stuff of the day so that's what we're gonna do today so first things first if you're not subscribed to my channel already i greatly appreciate it and give me a thumbs up and now let's get started with the video okay so in this first little segment of the video i'm not used to doing this kind of thing so it's gonna be like kind of messy probably but the first things first we had to decide where we wanted to have the ceremony and when so he wanted to do it pretty soon just so it seems like around the same time period since we actually got married now in april and it's going to be in june so we looked at a certain venue which i thought was pretty and it's outside um, i'm not going to name the venue just because this is going to go up before the ceremony probably because like everything's to be said and done before the hand um so it's an outdoor place it looks very pretty it has like kind of a setup where we could use things which is nice and it's not too terribly far for anybody which is awesome so we have the venue picked out i went ahead and got the like what do you call it the permit, the permit, I had to look it up on my phone with a screenshot of it. So we had to get the permit for the day, the area that we wanted to go do this um, because we needed that for the place. Cause I didn't want to like rent a building or anything. That seemed really expensive and trying to keep this on a low, low budget. Cause your girl doesn't have that much money. So, <laughs> and plus like, I don't want a big ordeal. I want something small, I want something tiny, I want something intimate. I don't want a ton of people, but he could not stick to the list I gave him. I'm like, can you keep it down to 10 people? Like, I don't want a ton of people looking at me. He couldn't do that so it's gonna be a little bigger than i wanted but whatever makes him happy i will do so we have the venue i just have to get in contact with the um department to confirm our reservation um that's just awesome if i can do that pretty soon like i'll call them if they don't call me but we're just going to confirm with them in case they want because they want additional information and then we should have the venue for that day which is a friday so that's good uh next thing we have the guest list i have the names of everything i've already made like a I'll put it right here, but with all the information uh, not up there, I'll make like a version where it doesn't have like the date, time, place up there of our invitation, which I think is really pretty. I want to keep it black and white. And then Cortland wants a color photo, but I don't think it matches the invitation. So behind the invitation, we're going to put a like little Polaroid thing, like a five by seven, because it's going to be a five by seven card invitation. I'm going to order a bunch of black envelopes off Amazon for that. I was also considering going to Hobby Lobby and getting like a one of those letter stamps you could stamp wax like a wax seal for them um, with the initial of our last name which is gonna be super pretty I might not do that it might be too much effort I might just like lick the thing closed and send it off I don't know um, but we'll see that's just an extra but again extra money but we could use that for other things later on so I don't know we'll see I don't know how to use wax seals but I figured it out after that we had to pick out our outfits so outfits wise I decided we were not going to pick elaborate expensive gowns or suits or anything because these are things you're going to wear for like an hour for a ceremony and then never wear again it feels like a waste of money so I wanted to wear things that he could wear to work um, or if we go out and I could wear it all the time because I always wear dresses anyways so I picked out this dress from Killstar there are actually three Killstar options I was looking at um, but this is the one I picked out because it's something I've been dying over for weeks since they announced it. it's a new dress from them I've been looking at it every like day. I screenshotted it and I keep looking back at it and I'm in love with it even before I we decided on Like our wedding date and everything So that's the one I'm going with and it has like kind of sleeves so it will cover up a lot of my tattoos, which I feel like His family's probably gonna have an issue with but I don't care. It's already up there. What you're gonna do? So that's the outfit for him. I'm going we're gonna go to the mall and like like Nordstrom or something and pick out like a nice black outfit, black stretchy pants for work that he can wear, a nice black dress shirt, black skinny tie, just so he's like a new outfit to wear because he has those things already, but like a new outfit for the ceremony. And then on Etsy, we picked out a really cool vest. Now he already has this vest kind of in like a gold purple moment, but they have ones on Etsy that are really pretty. Oh, they're a little expensive. They're over hundred dollars. So that's gonna add up on like our budget and everything. My dress is like 80, I think. Um, but the vest looks really really cool and I think it's really detailed and he loves wearing vests So I think he would personally rather own a vest that's really nice compared to a suit jacket So that's what we went with that And if we decide not to spend the money on the vest He's gonna wear a skinny red tie like Gerard Way in the Helena music video Living for my fantasy here. It's my aesthetics. It's his 
family, his ceremony. He wants to have everything since I don't want to have one, but I'm going to pick the aesthetics here. So that's that. We also did, oh, hi Anubis. Huh? <laughs> we also did an outdoor thing because I did not want to get married in like a church because I'm not religious, but he agreed to outside and he picked this venue actually. He's the one who pointed out and discovered it. So props to him for that if it all works out. Okay, so next thing I want to talk about is like we just picked up the outfits and everything. So he's gonna wear black and gray or black and red, depending on what we decide to go with. I'm wearing a black dress. I gotta find little heels, like probably like a Mary Jane, like a small short heel with a closed toe because I want to wear tights with it. Um, just because I feel like that dress would look fancier with some tights underneath, not fishnets, maybe something more classy with like a lace thing because we have lace on the dress. So I need a closed toe for that kind of stocking. So I'm thinking like a short heel. I don't want to look taller than him. I'm pretty sure the person doing our, like, the vow thing, like, reading it to us and stuff, is not super tall. I think he's around Cortland's height, and they're both, like, me and Cortland are the same height, and I'm always wearing wedges or heels, so I always look taller than him. So I don't want a really tall heel. I'm probably going to go on, like, Unique Vintage and look for a heel. And then for hair, I love having purple hair, but I'm going to have to do it beforehand. I'm probably going to have to refresh it before. So I'm gonna dye my hair orange for this because I feel like the black with a nice light orange is gonna be a really cute contrast. I am torn between cutting it off at a very blunt bob, like a very clean, crisp, modern bob, or to use the extensions that I have coming in um, from Irresistible Me. So I can either wait to dye the extensions when I dye my hair orange again, but they did gift them to me, so I can't wait too long to use them, like show them off, so I don't know. I'm kind of torn between like just dyeing them purple with his hair or going ahead and switching this to orange and have it orange for like a month and a half, you know, because it's almost May now. Um, so that's that. Now, lastly, the thing I have to do today, because I, I just got home, like I've had this makeup on all day. I just got home from talking to someone about all those plans, and, like organizing my thoughts and everything that we're going to do, um, because we're not going to do like a reception reception, like go somewhere and like have a big party or anything. We're just gonna have like a small thing there as of right now. We'll see. Um, I, I have to think about like, this is the last thing I have to do today because I've been doing this all day. I have to think about registry. Now, I didn't think about this beforehand. It's something people tell me I need to do so people have an idea of like gifts for us. I never thought about gifts when I thought about getting married. I never thought about this. This isn't the thing I thought about. But I know you can register on like Amazon for a gift registry. So I got to do that today. I guess I'll show you guys my process of that. Um, I'll leave it linked down below if you guys are interested in any of the items I put up there, like you want it for yourself or anything. So... I have to do that because they say you can put your information up there and they don't have to have your address because like I don't want everybody invited to have my address I guess it just seems weird but they can just send you stuff that way and Amazon seems the most convenient way so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna set it up I what was to ask for what do you people said like if you because I was talking to someone earlier like I said and I was, they were like if it's something expensive like you can if they know each other they can all pitch in and get you an expensive thing I'm like I don't know what to ask for so yeah, I'm gonna ask Cortland and uh, make that now. Okay, so update on the registry thing. Since I just went and did it, I didn't feel like I needed to document the process of doing it. The wedding registry thing on Amazon, which was what I was looking at before, looked really simple and easy, but it gives everyone your like address and stuff. And some people I don't want to visit me. <laughs> so I decided just to make like a wish list. I've seen a lot of people on TikTok when you like click their link and everything, it's just like an Amazon wish list and everything, which seems easy enough to use. And then they don't have to see your address, which is why a lot of like influencers or stuff use it so i'm gonna use that i named it registry i didn't know what to put up there like things for the around the house especially since we're gonna move in a couple months um i just put that kind of things like things we could actually use that are practical um yeah i, did, I, don't, I don't know it's a weird thing to ask for things i guess but i'm not because it's not it's an optional thing so i and i don't feel that bad because it's optional but like at the same time it's weird anyways that's done that's off the list of things to do. I also got the email from the city saying that we have the space that we wanted for that day. So it is now confirmed that um, the date we're getting married and the time and everything. So that's great. It makes me a little nervous. Like it's a little bit more real now that I like paid for the place for the day, even though it wasn't as much as like renting a building. But yes, that's the update for today. All right, updates. So I, after paid my dress on Killstar, because I was like, I can pay half of it off at a time. It's like $75 a lot all at once. So I after paid it and I had to do it immediately because they said there is a three to 12 day delay because they're moving warehouses. So I went ahead and got that. There was also this other one that I was looking at as far as like an option 
Um, it's like a different one in case the other one didn't work out. So there's that. I also need to find tights. I'm probably like Amazon some plus size tights or something. And I also need to find shoes. I'm going to go on Unique Vintage and find shoes. I also had Cortland pick out his vest. He picked this one out. It was not originally one of my two options. But it is a really pretty vest. And um, it's $169. So okay, I'll pay that off when I get paid next. So there's that. There's the updates on the outfits. Also, I ordered the invites. However, I forgot to include <laughs> the information about the registry. So I think I'm going to order like 20 little blank business cards and put the information there and stick it in the envelope when I get the invitations in. Um, so there's that. I actually, he wanted, so Cortland wanted color in the picture of the invitation, but it doesn't fit. So I ended up going with a backside of a full color picture of us. Um, so the front side is all black and white with gold accent and the other side, the flip side, it's like a picture of us in case someone just wants a picture of us instead of an invite on their fridge or something. I don't know. Whatever you thought someone would want a picture of us for. I don't even have pictures of us in our house. <laughs> um, but there's that update. And um, today I'm not going to do anything except for do like regular YouTube work stuff. So there's that. Also the um, setup for the like reception which i didn't want to do in the first place is kind of taken care of and settled on little sandwiches 10 by 10 tent which is the biggest win we could have for the area we're doing um so there's that okay so i did actually end up going to hobby lobby um and we picked up some little trading cards i was going to write our like registry information on because i forgot to put on our original invitation i also got wax seals so our letter is t i had to get the entire alphabet though because it had individual letters and I have a wax seal thing now, there's the handle for it. And then I also have these little gold bits, which are the little pouring things in the spoon. So we're gonna seal our envelopes, which are black now. I actually ordered black envelopes from Amazon. And we're gonna make little uh, wax seals to seal them. I think that's really pretty. Plus like, it wasn't too expensive because like Hobby Lobby prices are pretty good and they were 30% off, so pretty good. Okay, so I just woke up. I do look like crab, I'm sorry, but you know, when you wake up, you don't look great. So I dyed my hair orange because I said like a long time ago that I was going to like do orange for the wedding. I thought about blonde for a while, but however, if you watch the video because the video is already out, um, a lot of this under here was green. So I ended up being orange and this works. I just have to refresh it before the day of. I'm also just kind of down today and stressed because last night we went out to dinner and um, someone was there trying to give me like advice on how bad my <laughs> wedding stuff sucked. And yes, I know technically I don't have to listen to anybody, blah, blah, blah. Um, but like, they made it seem like my ideas were really tacky and cheap. And of course it is cheap because like, I'm not trying to do this like a million dollars or anything. But suggestions were made that I changed pretty much everything. So now it's going to be at night, evening. I don't know if my permit for the place um, we rented or I guess reserved is okay with at nighttime. I think it should be okay, but I'll have to contact the city to see if that's fine to change the time because it is blocked off the entire day for us but in the time I requested it it's morning so there's that apparently the whole like small sandwiches take them and go kind of deal because I didn't want this to be a long drawn out process is cheap and tacky as well I shouldn't be in like a reserving a whole restaurant um for everyone to eat and everything there's only four people total coming from out of town so I don't I mean I didn't want to make a big deal of it because everyone else is local and they could just like come see us do the ceremony you know we say thank you and everything little stuff maybe eat a sandwich or something like something small and then we all go several ways and like you know call it a day i didn't want anything huge apparently now i'm supposed to be doing a whole restaurant deal paying for everybody's dinner apparently it's rude to ask people to pay for their own dinner if it, they voluntarily go out i mean i guess technically they're invited to a wedding they're invited to everything but like i don't i mean it's a lot of money to pay for like I think the total is 18 people if you include us and I don't feel like I mean I don't I didn't want a big deal of it so I don't really know if I, I want to do all that like I could always say there's no reception we're gonna go to dinner you can pick up your own tab if you want to come but then people are gonna think that's rude and apparently everything I do about this wedding is rude <laughs> and I wasn't aware because I just wanted a small little something something that's what Corlin wanted he wanted something simple technically this whole ceremony is just to like say he had a real wedding um and to say the vows, like a uh, godly vows for him, which is important to him. So that was fine. <sighs> but now it's turning into a whole like 
day ordeal it feels like apparently I'm supposed to be not doing my own hair that day I'm not supposed to be like you know gluing on my own fake nails which nails I can see because you know like fake ones usually if you put them on yourself they do pop off but apparently if I do my own hair if I leave my hair straight like it's like ugh, like tacky so to be making this really special friend I'm trying my best but like I'm not trying to have so much money spent but it's already adding up like we went to the mall and we picked out his outfit other than the vest because the vest is $169 which is fine because it's beautiful um but I mean I wanted to go ahead and get the outfit and everything else other than that he's gonna wear his marine corps shoes which are the shiny ones which is fine but like pants and a top and everything for dressy stuff it's not cheap and then my dress was pretty cheap considering but I still need to find tights and shoes for it because the only shoes I have are super cutesy that are closed toed for that and I need closed toed for the tights so I still have to find shoes for myself um and then like Apparently supposed to give out favors. I'm not. They, apparently the person who suggested we do this because they didn't like our any of our plans, so they have ideas for us like spooky favors, which sounds fine, but like how much is that gonna cost? I don't know. It's just a lot more than I expected, so I'm probably just gonna end the video here and say like, eh. oh, and apparently our invitations suck too. I mean, I know I'm just sitting here complaining for this last half of the video, but like, I can't f physically complain to anybody other than Cortland and Cortland. Just like roll with it, you know, trying to help. Which is fine but like it, it made me feel like crap that like all of my ideas are trash so this entire video is planning trash apparently and I'm restarting now in May which is not <laughs> ideal considering it's in June um they even wanted us to change the day or like push it back to like October but he wanted it soon and he would not like he doesn't want to be mean and tell people like no we you know want to do this soon but I know June is gonna be hot outside but again if we're only gonna do this like little small ceremony like an hour tops would be it and I don't I mean people we can survive on that I don't know I don't know so I'll also have to redo my invitations because my invitations are trash so I have to redo my invitations today but today is Monday which is like podcast research podcast um filming filming audio and everything day and cleaning the house day and it's day for me to restock like make new candles and everything for my brand's website so it's a long day ahead of me which is why I didn't bother putting on makeup for this part of the video but I'm gonna make the new invitations apparently we're gonna do a just a word invitation add pictures in afterwards as a thank you for coming to the wedding or behind the card the invitation card itself I don't know yet yeah so I wasted like $40 on the invitations I printed out to say 12 p.m. but at least I can make the new invitations have them printed out on pretty paper, maybe like cut the edges, make them look fancier, and also add the registry information on the card itself. So that's good. But, um, I don't know, man. This is more stress than I expected. Like, the people who are trying to help me plan, or I guess replan this, are saying, like, I shouldn't have to worry about it. I'll just show, I just show up. The bride just shows up and everything. But I want to be a part of the process because, I mean, this is the only, the whole ceremony, everything, and all the, all the family there is all for him. So I feel like I should be in charge of the aesthetics. I want to know what's going on. You know, I feel like I, I just want to know what's going on. I shouldn't, I should not be stressed about it because it'll all work out in the end, but I am. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I know it wasn't a very positive one towards the end. I know the wedding planning video is supposed to be super fun and everything and like really organized. I kind of feel like I just talked through what I was doing the last two weeks. And that, and now I just sat here complaining for like seven minutes. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry, I'm not like in the woo happiest mood ever today, but hopefully, in the next part, when everything's like actually purchased and done, like besides the outfits, like if we have to rent a restaurant or anything, if that's uh, done. Also, I don't know if people actually bring gifts or anything. I think I wasted a lot of time on that. Um, but if I have to rent a restaurant, if we have to rent a tent for outside outside the venue what kind of cake is happening like all that stuff I still have no idea about so there's that but I guess in the part two I'll let you know what's actually happening and then after that it'll be the actual wedding because it's only a month and a half away so anyways thank you guys so much sorry I complained and I'll see you in the next video bye guys